Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good evening. How's everybody doing? If you hear me well, please type <coughs> type one. <coughs> I'm very fine. <coughs> Sham, thank you. And also we got Ryan. Wafa again, uh, Ghalia and Hamidi, also Sarah, Noura, and soon maybe we get um, uh, Lina maybe also, and Abdullah or Farah or someone else. Okay. Hello, Abdul Rahman. We said hello to you and just join us. You know, some people are going to join us very soon. Anyway, uh, uh, our lesson tonight is lesson number three, but in a row it's lesson nine. So we start on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, which is today, at 7.45 every night. And our next lesson is on Saturday, which is always a revision lesson. And, uh, you know, all the lessons are collected from Mega Goal 3, Flying High 3, and The Traveler 3. So it's a collection of the book. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine, you know. Thank you, uh, Sham, for this nice of you. Uh, now let's go and see what is our lesson is about tonight. Yeah, another boy, good. I hope he can stay here. So uh, our objectives for our lesson we have actually three main uh, objectives, which is number one, okay, to identify or identify the main idea of the text. So I tell you to read about something and I ask you, what is this about? That's very easy. And also to identify specific information so we can read a very big text or passage and we specify what it's all about. Okay, we look for specific information, like I tell you, uh, if this is about ages, so uh, how old is Sarah and uh, so you look for something very specific, something very special, something very limited. And number three, we're going to be identifying the word meaning from a context. Okay, hello Lina, thanks for joining us. So we're going to identify or learn to find like you can see here, the main idea of a paragraph or text. Also, we're going to identify specific information. So we're going to look for specific information here and there. And three, we're going to identify the meaning of a word in a context. You know, when you read, even me, like a teacher, sometimes I read a lot of books and newspapers and stuff. I get a lot of words that I don't know and that is just very normal and I don't have a problem with it. Uh, some of the words I forgot, some of the words I need for the first time, some words are, so I always need to have the dictionary with me on a smartphone or maybe on a computer so it helps. But there is always a way if you train yourself you can know the meaning of the word, you can feel it, you can get close to it if you read the words before it and the words after it, so you can feel or guess the meaning. Am I right? Okay, and if you learn this, actually, in time, you're not going to need the computer, uh, sorry, the a dictionary for too much, okay? You're not going to need it maybe once or twice, or it depends whenever you read. Now, let's move, since we identified the three main uh, objectives for our lesson. All right, so it's a new one. It's a, now this is red. It was blue, so it's a new one. Okay, who's ready here? No one? All right, Ryan, the big guy here is also Lina. She speaks for everyone. Wafa and Ghalia. Sarah Al-Ghahtani. Yes, is 
Y-E-S, but that's okay. And Sarah Sultan, I will get two Sarahs and Alhamidi. Good. So I'm just trying to check if you're awake. You did not sleep yet. All right. Good. So there's a very uh, famous place, I think, in the United States called Window on the World. And it's a place where you can find the whole world. They make like, uh, you know, like in Dubai, you know the global village? There's a global village in Dubai if you ever went there. So every, there's a big city and this city has all the names and all the cultures of the countries around the world. So you can see how people in China live, you can see how people in Italy live, what do they eat, what do they uh, wear, and so on. There's the same place in the United States where you can visit the whole world because this place called Window on the World is just like an open window to the earth. So you can go and see how the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans, the Europeans, the uh, North American and the South American, the New Zealand uh, 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 and the Australian, the Canadian. You can see all the world and see all these cultures on this place, which we're going to read about soon. Now we're going to discuss something a little bit important about this question that we always uh, face, which is, would you like to travel around the world? Why and why not? Who likes traveling here? You don't like to travel? You like to stay in Saudi Arabia? Ghalia, yes, she likes to go, she likes traveling. Sham also likes to travel and go. Ryan, boys love traveling. Noura Muhammad also, she likes traveling. So the rest, you don't like traveling. Those who are silent. Wafa, you don't like traveling. Gahtani, she likes, so. All right. Nada, no. Wafa, no. Why you? I don't know if the page number 14, uh, Abdurrahman Hamdi. I'm not the one who designs the... I'm only the presenter for the lesson. There's another teacher who can choose. One page, two page, three page from uh, the Traveler 3 or from Flying High or from Megadol. Okay, there is no definite book. It's a collection of three books. So Lena loves traveling. I personally love traveling too much. I wish I have time. I would like to travel outside to improve my language. Excellent, Sham. Yes. All right. So this is why Sham likes to travel. So she can improve her language. You can come to the rules also. You can talk with the teachers. You can improve your language. There are too many ways also. But traveling also uh, helps you to understand people. And it changes you. Because once you travel outside, you see how the people live, for example, in Europe. Or you see how people live in uh, Japan or somewhere else. You really start to think that, okay, there are very good people like me. I'm not, the, I'm not better than them. And the world is different. The world is not bad. There are good people everywhere. Okay, I don't know, Nada. I don't know the page of it. It's a collection of different books. So you meet also, uh, uh, you can make new friends. Okay, you can see different cultures, th different traditions. And also, you can listen to different music, see different clothes, people wear different things. You can, yes, you can see their culture, you can see how friendly they are, you can come back and talk to your friends about your vacation. You start to change. You start to change and you can see, oh, the world is not as bad as we have seen on the TV and so on, all right? There are so many good things we get when we travel. All right, so how can the English language help you learn uh, more about the world? So if you travel and you understand English, but how can this language, English, help you learn more about the world? Because if you use English, you can, you can what?
And also connecting with native people will help you more to learn. Yeah, when you talk to native speakers in Britain, Canada, or in the United States, and even Australia, uh, you can improve your accent, you can improve your language, and actually, if you speak their um, English in a good way, they will respect you more because, you know, we unfortunately have a bad um, image in the uh, Western media because they think that all Arabs are the same, but once they found your language is very perfect, you really give a good impression about yourself and about your country and about your religion too and about who you are and you can gain a lot of respect from all of this. Now, okay, now you need language because you need English because this is how you express yourself, this is how you defend who you are, this is how you defend Arabs, this is how you defend Islam and you need to talk and you need a good language so this is how you do it. Do you agree? You don't agree. Good. It's just like here in Saudi Arabia when you see uh, an Indian or Pakistani or maybe a Bengali or anyone else, he, can, he speaks with you a formal Arabic and a very beautiful Arabic. You really respect him, okay? He does not speak with you like, you know, uh, uh, one or two, three words that are not actually formal Arabic. But if you find him speaking very beautiful Arabic or formal Arabic, you really like him and you admire him and you get a lot of respect for him. And you know that he did a lot of job. Okay? So if you just get this. So can you have it because it is a universal language? That's right. That's right. So we need it. And a language is a medium and a way to communicate with people. So the more your communication and the more you have a good language and the more you are expert and flexible with the language, it helps you to think. And actually it helps you to transfer your ideas clearly. And you don't have a problem to think about the subject, the verb, oh, am, is, are, ing, have, has, present, past, so on. Because language versus thinking. Anyway, now let's see what we got here. So it's all about reading for today. So we're going to discuss where are the following landmarks. What do you know about them? These are very famous attractions and landmarks. You know, where is Taj Mahal? It's in India, right? It's in India. It's a famous landmark or it's a famous uh, tourism attraction. Where's the Grand Canyon? Where's the Grand Canyon? You don't know. It's, uh, you, you don't have to go to, no. You don't have to go to Google and search it because I did for you. It's, a, it's a closer to the Colorado River in Arizona in the United States. All right, we call it the Grand Canyon. Where are they in Niagara Falls, the very famous high falls in Canada? Excellent, Nina, thank you very much. Acropolis. Where is the Acropolis? It's in Greece. It's in Greece. Okay, it's in Greece. That's right. <coughs> yes, Nora. It's in Greece. And all of Greece is capitalized. What about Eiffel Tower? <coughs> it's in Gafim. Yes, of course. It's in Gafim. Uh, sorry, it's in Paris, France. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting... <coughs> oh, I have a bad side. All right. Where is the Egyptian pyramids? In Paris, there are Egyptian pyramids. In Egypt, and always Egypt, yes, Dina, thank you. It's always capitalized. Thank you, Nora. Also, the names of the cities are, and places are always so. Did you visit any of them here? Did you walk out the Rahman Shah, Sarah? Ghalia, Ryan, Nora, Lina, Sarah. 
Did you visit that? No. Lina, you went to Egypt. Of course, you saw the pyramids. They're funny. Uh, they're light and they're beautiful, I think. Noor, also, where did you go? Ghalia, never, because you don't like traveling. I know. Wafa, also, you don't like traveling. Ryan, you never went anywhere. But uh, Sham, you like to do that one day, inshallah. Sarah, no. Noor and Egypt. Okay. I hope so. People like, you know, yeah, you need a lot of money and you need to travel all the way. Some people say Turkey is beautiful. Some people say no. Sri Lanka is beautiful. Some people say London is beautiful. Paris, and you go, oh, I don't have time to live all those so I can go to all these places. And Sarah Sultan, uh, you visited the Niagara Falls in Canada. That's beautiful. Good. And Black Time to Dubai. I don't know this place was, but that's okay. I do for sure, but who cares? Uh, you know, people are different. Some people like drawing, don't like traveling, and but you know, it's good to see other people, uh, civilization. Anyway, read the article quickly and answer the question below. What is the purpose of the article? To educate the reader or to inform the intended reader? Okay, I'm going to skip this because it's a little bit off, all right, and it's confusing, so just forget it, and we're a little bit out of time, and I want you so, so soon to get your microphone ready, so we're going to read a long text, and you're going to help me, and oof, you know, you heard me coughing up a couple of times because of the weather change here in Riyadh, and, uh, and if you are good, so you can... Help me read, so when you, you know, when you read, you give me a break, all right? So I can breathe, you know, it's like 40 minutes, I speak non-stop and you do nothing, and you just give me some, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, that's all. All right, okay. All right, I know how to talk English, but you're here just, I don't want you to be lazy, all right? Let's just have fun here, okay? And see, Ryan, you just uh, give yourself an I, as we say in Arabic now. You're the only boy here, but that's okay. Um, let's go on. You know, these are the things that we talk. As you can see in the picture, these are the Egyptian pyramids, and this is a sphinx, and uh, I think this is some kind of the Acropolis, and behind this is Eiffel Tower, and these are the first four presidents in the United States, where you can find the Grand Canyon. And let's go on and see the text about window of the world, all right? That place that contains the world. Now imagine you go to one place and you can visit the whole world in one place. How? We're going to see how. So this week in our series on the world's most famous theme park, it's a theme park, it's a very big park, we're visiting the window of the world theme park in uh, Shenzhen in China. So actually it's not in the United States, it's in China. Okay, now who's going to use the microphone to start to read? Give me, all right, you can read from this until the Arab world, so that's the first paragraph. You don't have microphone. You don't have 10 reals to buy a microphone. But you have 1,000 reals to buy a Lipstick and deodorant and shoes and... Oh, Lena, beautiful. Thank you very much. You never let me down, all right? Now, let's give Lena the beautiful... The microphone was your name. I hope you don't have a problem with that. All right. Soon you're going to get the microphone, okay? So you can start. Read very slowly because... Very slowly because... Like alien like Lena. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, this sample is uh, a theme park with uh, di a different uh, the window of the world of the world co uh, continent over one one hundred thirty uh, replaceable of the uh, all squeezed onto about uh, four hundred eighteen uh, eighty sorry uh, eighty thousand uh, square meter. Some of the re uh, replaceable uh, replaceable are the Actual actual size of the uh, sites well 
Well, with other art monarch, in one afternoon you can visit the uh, the evil tower, the evil tower, or uh, the evil tower, uh, walk around the Grand Canyon, and mar marvel at the Egyptian pyramid. Uh, the acrobat uh, is here along with Niagara Falls, one of the most interesting uh, features of the uh, the park is the interna international street which which fe uh, features the islamic street where you can see mosques buildings and marks that look uh, exactly like that those find <laughs> found in the arabic word those find oh, in arabic thank you very much my voice thank you beautiful lina and give your hand Give your friend a hand and clap her. Thank you, Ryan, for clapping to your friend. She's gorgeous. Okay, uh, Wafa would like to say excellent, and Wafa gave you your very good. You are excellent, and Shan gave you a hand to a clap. And you deserve more. What about this? Rest, you sleepy people here. Who's going to use the microphone? Give me a beautiful break like Lena. Ryan, the only man here, you're shy and don't understand the girls that are shy, but you're your wife. Uh oh, you has gone. I don't know if she got some uh, maybe technical problems. Yes, who's next? Mm hmm. Yes, I'm waiting for someone. Hello. Stop using your Facebook. <coughs> you don't have a mic. <coughs> you can get a mic. <coughs> Sorry, you can. You can buy a mic. Okay, it's just not for me. It's just not for your friends. This is a mic, and it could stay for you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's give Ryan. I ju just saw you, Ryan. Good. All right, uh, you just need to read very slowly. Uh, Ryan, okay. Where is where is your name? All right. Okay. I sent you the microphone. Can you hear me? <laughs> we want visitors. We want visitors to see and experience places and cultures they may not be able to actually get to in person. Not everyone can visit every famous landmark in the world in one lifetime, and that and that is why this park is attractive to many visitors, both Chinese national, nationals and foreigners commented Mr. China on one of the managers. Okay, so now thank you very much. I would like to clap to you. That's a good try. I know some of your friends here, especially the girls, are very good, but they don't want to buy a microphone for 10 reals, but you could spend 1,000 reals for something else, but I don't know. All right. Thank you, Sarah and Nina, for clapping to your friend. And what about the rest of the girls? This is a man, all right? You just need to be nice with him. He had clapped for you all, all right? You're very good. You're doing better, right? Every day, try to read. Two days, ten days, one week, two weeks, three weeks, boop, 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 and you will be very good, all right? You'll be very, it takes time, all right? It takes time. <coughs> uh, I'm going to read very quickly. So, all right, now say, Wafa, you're very good, okay? But no one can read better than I am. 
Yeah, you know, you're still students and you'll never be like me. You'll never be like me, all right? Good. All right, I know. Anyway, I'm joking, you know. I'm joking. I'm just, I mean, barely can breathe anyway. Whew. Uh, all right. I'm going to read, uh, read this all over again so we can stop at some, uh, some words that we don't know. I, I'm, all right, we'll see. This certainly is a theme park with difference. With a difference, so the window of the world contains over 130 replicas. Replica means copy, identical copy. All right, replica means so there is a replica, a copy of 130 countries. Okay, of the most famous natural and man-made sites in the world all squeezed onto about 480,000 square meters. Some of the replicas are the actual size of the sites where, while others are smaller. In one afternoon, you can visit the Eiffel Tower, walk around the Grand Canyon, and marvel at. Marvel at means get amazed. You can get amazed when you get this to get this place, all right? To marvel at is to get amazed at the Egyptian pyramids, the Acropolis is here along with the Niagara Falls. One of the most uh, yes, to astonish and amaze all the same. One of the most interesting features of a park is the international street which features the Islamic street where you can see the most buildings and markets that look exactly like those found in the Arab world. So you can see every, everything. We want visitors to see and experience, to live, okay, places and cultures they may not be able to actually get to in person. Not everyone can visit every famous landmark in the world in one lifetime, and that is why this park is attractive to many visitors, both Chinese nationals and foreigners, okay, commented Mr. Chin, one of the managers. The Window of the World theme park combines, which is to connect, Okay, connect both fun and education. There are regular exhibitions, shows or galleries about famous people in history, you know, like Wax uh, exhibition. And the park often holds festival, make, all right, here holds festivals which focus on different countries and cultural themes, visitors also have the opportunity, the chance, to try out food from all over the world in one of the many restaurants. This week, we're holding Indian Week, explained one of the organizers. Visitors can learn all about Indian culture, <coughs> Sorry, customs and traditions. We're offering Indian food all week. And there is also a special exhibition on famous Indians in history. Visitors to the park not only have the opportunity to see many famous sites and learn a lot about different world cultures, but they also have the chance to take Part <laughs> in many adventure trips in the park. I'm not. I'm gonna be dead. All right. Not beautiful, Ryan. Thank you. That, this is where you can see a man wants to help you. Not like those girls who don't care about you. All right. Because he was hearing me just about to get my breath. So I thank you very much, Ryan. You can continue. I think you can hear me because I can hear your fingers missing up with the keyboard. You can start from, we're waiting. We're waiting to go down 
the Colorado River by the boat, and some friends of ours are skiing in the Alpine Ski Resort. Yes. So one visitor, we actually come from Sheen, and we think this is this park is a great benefit to our region. We will probably never be able to visit all of these places ourselves. So it is really interesting for us. So some friends of ours are visiting us next week from the USA, and we're going to bring them to see the part two. Thank you very much. <coughs> All right, so that was a very beautiful uh, text about window of the world, a very big park. It's a theme, an idea, where you can find Eiffel Tower, mosques, churches, uh, the Acropolis, uh, uh, Niagara Falls, uh, the Pizza Tower and a lot of landmarks or a lot of tourism attraction and it's not about these places also you can find bazaars, souks, and markets also you find lectures there are people that explain to you and you can buy books to read about the people there you can find people also with restaurants they offer food and also you can see people wearing the same clothes like you know when we saw that about the uh, uh, park, there was the Indian week. So every week there is an Indian week. Drink some water. Yeah, of course, you can drink some water everywhere, right? That's okay. Uh, you're advising me to drink some water, right? I'm going to get that also soon, but you guys don't buy the microphone for 20 reals, maybe, and you make me suffer all that, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it to you. You can help me in the future and get a microphone first lipstick and maybe that's like the okay. thing. Oh, you do, Ryan. Yeah, uh, Lena and Ryan, yeah, I, of course, yeah, I, I owe you a lot. Anyway, after we read all of that, that's, <laughs> that's okay, I'm joking, you know, this is how to make you do it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm fine, I'm going to be dead, all right. So read the article again, decide whether the following statements are true, false or not or not mentioned like, you know, true, T, false, F, and not mentioned, it's not there, like NM. Oh, I see your memories, how terrible your memories are. Now, this article is the only one in the magazine on the topic of the theme parks of the world. So that was the only part of it. The only, this article was the only in the magazine. Sarah says not available, Ryan not available, Nina says false, false. Actually, it's false. Elizabeth said that is the, not the only article because too many magazines wrote about it, okay? All magazines wrote about it. It was a very big place and everybody wanted this. It was a great investment and there was a lot of money there. So many, like, you know, Al Jazeera, Arabia, CNN, BBC, a lot of magazines and, and media, of course, The Guardian, and so on. Uh, all the exhibits on show are the same size as the originals. So you can find the same size of the Egyptian pyramids, the same size of Evil Tower. That's false. That's false, right. Thank you very much, Sarah, Lina, Ryan, and Chen. Some are the same size as they were small, but if something like Evil Tower or the pyramids, you need another planet. And three, the organizers of the park want visitors to learn something about different countries in the world. So it was not only about uh, places, it was also there's something about how people live and eat, yeah. Lina, Nora, Sara, Sham, Wafa, Sara, Kahtani too also, yeah, that's very easy, you know, I helped you with this. Anyway, four, you can try out food for different parts of China in that part. Can you find food there? <coughs> not available? Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, they did not actually talk about food, but I talked about food because I'm angry. Yes, Lina, Rayan, Sarah. 
Yeah, I want to see more dough appears here. Yeah, and five, visitors can take part in sporting activities in the park. You can do some sports there. True, 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 true. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, true. You can do some sports like the people do there. And the visitors are enthusiastic about the park. They like it. They are excited. Enthusiastic is mean excited about the park. Yes, true. Everybody say true. Because it's amazing to see all these places, even that, you know, they're not the real ones, but it's excited. You can taste different food and different uh, cultures, different clothes, blah, blah. Now, let's see the meaning of those words, if you remember. Replicas means what? Copies of pictures. A. Squeeze onto to fit. What is it? A or B? A. Everyone, that's right. Marvel at, wonder about, or admire. B. That's right. That's right. You're all those fears. Good. Let's see what about experience. Is it all A or B? Everybody says A, B, 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 A, I don't know. It's A to be in a particular situation, to live it, all right? Combines. It's A to join together, to connect, as I told you, holds, controls, or organizes. Now we get 2, A, 1, B, organizes. It's like do. Holds is organizes what a good good girls, good one boy. Okay, now the conclusion is that what we got out of this is just, would you like to visit this place? Yeah, one boy. I mean, yeah, we're two men here, right? No problem. If you have a <coughs> problem with the girls, I will help you. So, would you like to visit the window of the world theme park? Why and why not? Nina would like to go there because, you know, that will save a lot of Ryan would like to go. Sham would like to go. I personally would like to go. It's in China. It's a long way there. Sada Sultan also would like to go. I know Ghalia does not like to go, of course. Yes, Nura Muhammad, it seems interesting. Yes, it seems interesting. So, Sarah, no, of course, yes. You know. Um, so if you went there, what are you going to do? You buy perfumes, Chinese rice, what, socks? Ryan would eat everything. Ghalia, if she would love to go there, she's going to try the different kinds of food. That's okay. People would try the food, buy strange clothes, night clothes, maybe some books about them. Ah. Maybe some songs, CDs, stuff like this. You can take pictures with uh, there are wax statues there. You can take pictures with them and blah blah a lot of things. Uh, you know we're done, and you know the last thing we do, which is already prepared now to give a vote for the listen. Okay, it's not for me, but it's just like you know for the site for the website company. And if I want to vote for you. You're terrible when you are shy and you don't use the microphone and you make me want to talk for two minutes without a break. <sighs> okay, and now I have to stop. I barely can breathe. Thank you for coming. And hope to see you tomorrow, inshallah. Good night. Ah.